Okay, dude, <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a rundown of how I put together a bike that can do all kinds of shit. Really good at climbing and really stable on downhill stuff. Um, so right now I got it down to 25.75 pounds. I had it just over 25, but I put these big fat 2.6 tires on the front and back. I would never take the one off the front there because it's just too awesome, but I would put something lighter on the back if I really wanted to reduce weight. So, <clears throat> so the main points is I bought this here frame. It started out pretty light because they don't have that split pivot thing in the back. It's a light frame. Forget what it is, like five pounds or something. <clears throat> um, so then I bought this next crank set it's expensive, they're down to like, you can probably get one for 400 on a on a good deal right now, like on sale or something. Uh, and then I put a, a little Wiener 28 tooth chain ring here, but I think that Ibis comes with a 30, so I guess it's not, I don't know, it's, it's pretty pussy. But anyway, it works for me. Um, then, back here, I got the Praxis 1x10. It's called a Praxis Wide Range Cassette. It's lighter, it's not that expensive. It allows me to still use like a one by 10 rear derailleur and uh, shifter. So it's cheaper and maybe a little simpler too. Uh, I bought the Valor. It's a cross country carbon rim, but it's really tough as hell. I don't think that you would hurt it. I put a crest on the front, which I wouldn't recommend for you because uh, you're out in Colorado and you're doing a lot of real serious downhill stuff. It, 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 it probably, probably wouldn't hold up that long, but I have a ballerina style of riding, so it's fine so far. But I would get a pair of Valors if I had, you know, it's expensive, but a Valor in the front and the back would be your lightest option and it would probably hold up forever uh so then let's see uh <clears throat> i geeked out i put a remote on my shock so i can just lock it out and climb semi hardtailish. i think it cost me like 225 bucks or something to send it into fox and have them set it up i just I got that. That's my that's my climbing button. Climbing button stiffens up and it just it's like a rocket. Um, and then so for the fork situation, I got this here. Dual, but where the fuck? Hello. Okay. Dual position. One forty. We'll position Rock Shocks Revelation. So <clears throat> when I'm climbing, I can just put it in position, just twist that thing and push it, and it goes to 120. So this bike was designed for a 130 fork. So I put a 120, 140 so that it will climb better in the 120. It, it makes the, the head angle. A little bit less uh, slack so it's steeper so it climbs better and then when I go downhill you just hit this here switch and it jumps up to 140 and this bike will just smash all over over all kinds of shit uh, I've ridden it down stuff in California just flying down and the whole bike just stays it stays planted and it's super comfortable and just <clears throat> very stable um, and it also climbs really good hopefully I didn't forget anything oh yeah brakes I have come to the conclusion that just these simple Dior's are like the perfect brakes because the cost the weight the performance is perfectly fine. It's totally acceptable. It works. 
I got this here XDR on here just because I had it for a long time. It, uh, saves a few grams, but uh, anyway, I think these Dior's do are fine. Um, as far as the way brakes feel, I think that the, the SRAM guides are they feel great, but they're it's those Dior's are just like no brainers really. Um, let's see what else here. I think that's about it. So again, this sucker climbs really well. It's super agile on the trails around here. We got really tight, twisty trails, and it just uh, handles like a cross country bike basically. Uh, and then, you know, on the rare occasion that there's something to ride down here, like downhill ish, all I gotta do is, you know, open everything up and it just mops everything. When we got really gnarly root sections here, this bike just, it's like a magic carpet over all that shit. I've got my, my oys over here, my cat's guarding it really likes it a lot this sucker here this thing's 24 pounds when I have those wheels on it it's 24 pounds and this thing is a freaking f1 race car basically but when I get over like when I'm starting to hit like rough stuff uh, you know lots of roots are going downhill or whatever it gets a little squirrely you know I really got to hold on to it tight and keep it down but this guy here, it's a little harder to pedal this thing around, but I don't even have to pick lines in Houston when I'm riding this thing. I can just go over whatever I want. And it doesn't feel dumb and like, doesn't feel like all numb and dumb. It's, it still feels real sharp, but at the same time, it just absorbs everything perfectly. And anyway, cost more to, build something that's exactly what you want but man it's worth it because every time I get on this bike I'm either one of these I'm really excited and I, I don't have like there's nothing about them that bothers me at all because I basically tweaked them out to to do everything I, I need them to do